Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm hopping on here to just share some stuff with you. I've been gone for a little while again. <laughs> uh, it's just life stuff and I'm just gonna to mention it because a couple people have asked me <laughs> uh, or have mentioned that I like seem kind of sad or tired in my videos, the last few ones. And uh, we just have some family stuff going on. It's not my family here. You know, it's not me, Devin, or the kids, but it's extended family on both sides. Uh, on one side, we're dealing with um, a custody issue that is really stressful <laughs> for all of us involved, you know. And on the other side, we're dealing with a cancer diagnosis. So it's just, it's stressful. I'm stressed out. <laughs> and I, I am a little sad, but I'm still trying to push through and all that jazz. I just want to hop on there real quick and say that. Uh, because I guess some people can tell by my demeanor. <laughs> um, I'm just going through stuff, you know. It's just life. It's just, you know, it's how it is. Everybody goes through stuff. Anyways. All that aside, I got some yarn and stuff to show you. And uh, let's see here, I got two whips to show you. And I got a couple of Valentine's cards in the mail. And then I do have one finished object. I'll show the finished object first. So this is the February square for the Repeat Crafter Me Animal Blanket. I think Animal Squares. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but I'll link it below. The first one was a polar bear. I did that in January. So February square. I was thinking it might be a, like a teddy bear. And then last minute, before she released it, I was thinking, well, it kind of looks like a horse, but it could be a teddy bear. So I was going like, I wasn't sure. And then it was a horse. <laughs> so here's the horse. I think it's cute. Because she she shows, she shows like a picture where it's like blurred over. So you can kind of see the colors and stuff, but you can't see the image. And uh, I was thinking horse and then bear. And then I, you know, I couldn't make up my mind. And it was a horse. <laughs> so I think it's pretty cute. I didn't mess up the ears. I read the pattern totally wrong. And then I couldn't make it make sense. And then after I made the ears and they looked different, I rounded off instead of pointy. <laughs> um, I reread the pattern and then it totally made sense. But I wasn't about to redo them. So my horse has different ears. And also this snout thingy, I put it upside down. But like nobody knows. Nobody cares. <laughs> but I think it's pretty cute. I did go ahead and put safety eyes on it. And I just went ahead and stitched like crazy. Because I decided I'm just going to line it with probably flannel. Because it's, it's a lot thinner than fleece. Um... And I will probably cut these little things off. I've done that before. Uh, so they're not pokey, you know. I'll cut them off and like if they're sharp or not sharp, but you know, pokey. <laughs> I will sand them down a little bit or melt them or something and then, and then cover it. I could even put hot glue over over it after I trim them to make them one more secure and two um, kind of padded. Because, you know, hot glue is kind of soft even when it's dry. But uh, yeah, so this is my horse. I made all my scrap yarns. I'm pretty sure it's all Red Heart. And I used H hook. I know this is ca cafe latte, and this is um, coffee white. And this um, this isn't Aaron or Buff. It's not even a Red Heart because it feels totally different. It's just some other scrap ball that I've acquired over the time, <laughs> over the years. And um, I actually like it. It's kind of darker than Red Heart Aaron, but it's lighter, you know, than cafe latte. I like it. It's a nice color. But uh, so that's my horse squares. So that's February. So now gotta wait for Marches. <laughs> uh, that's the only thing I hate about doing. Things that come out just once a month because you have to, once you get it, you know, if you get it done at the beginning of the month, then you have to wait <laughs> for the uh, the next one. But I got it done. It's pretty cute. I like it. So I'll link that below if you want to check it out. All right. So that's the only finished object I have. I haven't done a whole lot of crocheting at all the last week until the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday is when I, no, when it was yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> one of those days. I made this whole square that day. And then I worked a lot on my corner to corner, which I'm going to show you. And I also worked on it a lot today. Um, and then I started a new whip. So I'll show you my corner to corner first. Uh, I finished the first whole cake. So now I'm in the decreasing portion. Um, so the yarn that I am using is Mandala Baby. And it's called Pixie Hollow. It's so pretty. I love these colors. It is a number three. And I'm also using a G hook on it, which is a four millimeter. Maybe so I don't lose it. <laughs> Let me find my stitch marker. Okay, so there's where I was. You see it? <laughs> Last time I showed it to you in this dark purple here. So I did this much since last showing. And the first cake ended in this blue. Actually, it, it ended, there was pink and then there was a little line of purple. And then it started blue. So I cut the purple out because it would just been like two stitches of purple. And I reattached the blue, and then some of this blue is um, the first cake, and then the other part, I don't know where it's at, <laughs> over here, I think, where's my hands, 
where I attach no that's my loop oh here it is <laughs> it's on the end there that's where I attach the second cake so it, it was literally right as I started decreasing um it uh like the slip stitch was the new yarn I thought that was so funny but now I have done two decrease rows or one in a little there's a little bit there so I am on the decrease so it's gonna be a pretty good size I think I, I, for some reason I thought it's gonna be a lot smaller than this but it's it's already pretty big I'll measure it once I get it done and I don't know if I'm gonna put a border on it or not I might I'm, but I'm gonna wait until I get done obviously so I did just start the second cake so I'm starting to decrease now and I'm glad for that because it's, it's fun to see it you know get closer and closer to the end now I'm gonna move my progress keeper so that next time I show it you'll see where it was from as <laughs> so I put it right there and um yeah so I'm excited I really like the colors and I really like the way the stitches look it's just it's pretty corner corner is always a good go-to for a mindless project and uh, it's relatively quick like uh, I could probably get done a lot quicker if I just sat down and worked on it more but this is my like in-between project when I get a little bit of time to crochet I'll, I'll pick this up and uh, work on it a little bit so there it is working on that I'm gonna be chugging away with that for a little bit longer and then my my newest whip that I started yesterday while watching Little House on the Prairie <laughs> is another 18 inch doll outfit I purchased this a while ago sometime last year from um Pamela's Adoring Crochet her Etsy channel I will um I'll link her Etsy channel her Etsy store <laughs> I'll link her Etsy store and her YouTube channel down below and um so I had a few that uh I did like a poll on and the one that came in first was the birthday outfit which I already made and then the second place one was this one and it is the it's called the Halloween pink dress <laughs> but uh it's Minnie Mouse it's essentially Minnie Mouse I'll pop up a picture of what it looks like her picture and then I just barely got started on it <laughs> I just got um to where you join it and now I'm going to start like the body of the dress and the yarn that I'm using is Red Heart pretty and pink big old jumbo skein of it so um I didn't want to work with black the day that I started this <laughs> yesterday because I sat in the living room it was kind of dark and uh, so the first part of the pattern I think it starts off with the pants uh, you make the pants first and uh, and then I didn't want to make the shoes yet because they're just little I wanted to work on something that took a little bit of time and then the hat was a lot of black in it so I just started the shirt <laughs> so I started like one of the last part of the patterns first just because I wanted to um, work on something that wasn't black <laughs> at the time but it's going and I'm using a H hook which is a five millimeter with that with this part of it I think um, the hat maybe is a G hook and then the shoes I think it's a smaller hook I think all together I'll, I'll need a four millimeter, a five millimeter, and I think there was like a 3.75 or something like that also. So I'm going to use different hooks, but that's what I'm working on right now. So I did start that and I'm trying to chug away on it. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about getting that little other little outfit going because they're fun to make little doll clothes. So after I get this one done, I will probably make the, the scrubs outfit that I have. So the only ones that I purchased. Scrub's birthday, the Minnie Mouse one. I feel like I had one more that I bought. Oh wait, it's the Christmas one. I made that already. It's like a nightgown, the Christmas nightgown. So after I make the Minnie Mouse one, I'll make the scrubs and then I'll be caught up on all the patterns that I purchased and I can shop for more. She has some really cute Valentine's Day outfits um, that she was showcasing recently. And uh, I might have to get those and make them too. <laughs> but I'm gonna focus on Minnie Mouse and then do the scrubs and then I'll purchase another one and go from there because <laughs> I don't want to buy a whole bunch of them and then they sit around forever but that is what I've been working on just the doll outfit the corner of the corner and then I didn't make the square but uh yeah I've just been busy with life so I haven't been able to hop on here and share it with you guys so I did get some two Valentine's Day cards this first one is from Crystal from Chronicle Crocheting this is such a cute card <laughs> it looks so cute I just love it and it folds down which I thought was cool and I'm definitely gonna try to use that in a junk journal eventually I haven't got the junk journal in forever though and this one I got today and it is from Sarah and the envelope has some hearts on it but I can't show you the front because it's got her address but it's just got two cute little um Valentine's Day cards so this one says I like you a whole lot a whole bunch and it's a donut <laughs> and it says to Ella from Sarah happy Valentine's Day and then this next one Move it. Came in this cute little card with Care Bears on it. 
and it had this cute little, um, I think this is a sticker. Valentine's Day sticker. I didn't realize it was a sticker until just right now. But I just saw it. Yeah, it's got one of those, you like bend it and then it peels. That's cool. <laughs> I thought it was just a little, um, little card thing. But I can use the sticker in something and also the envelope. And then inside the envelope was a cute little stitch marker of a heart. It's so cute. So that, I'm going to use that right now. Well, I don't have a project to use it on. I'll hook it to my blanket and I'm going to use it. I'll put it in there in the living room where I set my blanket. And the, ne the next amigurumi, like I got to make two more Halloween amigurumis this month for uh, Halloween. <laughs> I will use that on those. But thank you so much, Sarah and Crystal, for you know, sending me little cards. They're so cute. I had intended, I had two Yarny friends I was going to send card um, junk journals to. I, has, I have them started, but I haven't got to work on much at all. So I was going to send them for Valentine's Day, but I think they're going to have to wait till next year <laughs> because I just haven't, you know, with everything that's been happening the last couple of weeks, um, I haven't had time to sit down and do it. So I did work on them just a little tiny bit. And if I can think about it, I'll show them in the next video that I do. They're in there right now. And I didn't bring them in here. Look at this sticker from Crystal. Little teapot. <laughs> this is such a cute card. It didn't say where it's from. I don't know. Maybe she made that. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> I'm going to put it back in an envelope so that I don't lose it. Um, before I get to do something with it. But, um... I always forget that she's from Washington. I don't know. Every time I say that, it surprises me. <laughs> but, because that's so far away. Washington State. But, anyways. So, that's that's my day for now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop up here and try to get this edited. June is taking a nap right now. And I'd like to get it up, done before she wakes up. But, I don't know. But, Devin's in there. So, he can deal with her. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I've got some stuff coming up soon that I want to talk to you guys about. And, I'm not sure exactly when that will come out. That video. Maybe next week sometime. Um. But it's going to be something that's going to the shop. I had hoped before all this stuff started. Um, I was going to make a new sewn project to put in the shop. But I never got a chance to sit down and work on the pattern because of life. But this new thing is actually something that I'm like collaborating with my sister to make uh, for the shop. And uh, But yeah, but I'll talk about that more in a video when it comes out. <laughs> Whenever it comes out, uh, you'll see it when you see it. There are a few bags left in the shop if you're interested to go check them out. And I actually am. I have a bunch of bags cut. And I just have to have time to sew them. <laughs> um, and it's going to be, I think, drawstring bags. Maybe a couple totes. Uh, and some of the hook pouches that you squeeze. And I think also a few notion pouches. <laughs> I just got a whole bunch of stuff in there cut. I just got to sit down and work on them. So those will be coming out eventually. <laughs> but I will announce um, everything when everything happens. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.